Hi, welcome back to another episode of Coldstream Rod Shop. I'm Derek Fraser. Uh, this is going to be part two of building the 32 Roadster body. Uh, this video is going to be about making the, the cowl sides, both of these sides, and the top section. So in this episode I'll cover assembling the cowl sides, and then attaching it to the top, and then taking this section and mounting it to the firewall. So come on over here and I'll show you the bits and pieces I'm going to work with. Oop, if I don't kill the camera lady there tripping over the, the extra engine stand. Um, can't have enough engine stands by the way. So over here what I've done I've laid out kind of all my pieces that I'm going to need. I'm going to be putting together some of the pieces like I said well actually not some but all of the pieces have something wrong with them. So this is one of the cowl sides. We bought it as a second, um, so it's missing a piece here. I'm going to have to basically make a piece to repair that. Um, some of them aren't trimmed properly. Some of them have to have the holes opened up. Um, anyway, just I've done all this stuff before. I'll go through each thing. Um, over here, I've begun the one uh, driver side cow part. So essentially what I start doing is I'm going to attach the A-pillar post to the cow side first. I'll weld that in place. Then there's a bracket that goes across here. Uh, there's actually a foot that will slide up inside of here that will lock into the subframe. That won't get added in until I actually put the assembled, the two cowl sides and the cowl top. When I put that on the firewall and bolt it through the bolts on the side, then these pieces will go in. So I'm going to weld this piece up and then uh, I'll show you that when it's done. Uh, it's, it's relatively straightforward. It's all a matter of clamping everything up, doing spot welds along the sides. And the same way with the support, it gets welded in. Um, but like I said, the this isn't like we're using first-rate parts. We have had to actually trim a few pieces to put them in because they're seconds and they cost a whole lot less when we do it this way. Okay, so I have welded the A-pillar onto the, uh, the cowl side, welded the bracket in place. So along the side here, basically just spot welded and dressed it, made sure that the A pillar is square. Um, like I've repeated myself a few times, most of these panels were, I think even when you buy a good panel from Brookville, there's a little bit of trimming work that you have to do. But right now it's, I've trimmed the bottom so it fits in. Um, there's a, I had to trim around here, the gasket so it would fit in. So I've trial fitted the first cowl side here um, to the side of the body. This bracket, like I said before, it goes in once we uh, once we weld the cowl in place and have the doors aligned. So that's the first one. Um, over here, the second cowl side uh, was more of a second than the other ones. So I'm in the process right now of repairing this section here. Um, the lip was basically gone. I think in uh, Brookville when they did it, they had laser cut it halfway through. So I'll finish the repair on this, uh, build it back up and trim it, and then I'll assemble this cowl side the same way I did the other one. Once both of these are done, then I'll work on the top section. So here we are. I've got the passenger side quarter panel all put together. Uh, it basically fits in place the same as the other one. So um, I'll just take it off here and I'll show you what I did. So on this one, just a few minutes ago, I had to make a repair to this lip and put a new section in. Uh, I'm just going to finish sand the inside here. So that was repaired. And there's a reinforcing ring that goes on the inside, I don't know if it's called a ring or a rib. This is what it looks like here. This is what it looks like on the top cow section. I had to put that in. The other thing that had to go in was the, uh, 
the, I don't know if you call them the firewall tightening legs or the cowl tightening legs. These are bronze pieces. What I typically do is I will get like a nut or a bolt or something. I'll drill the hole through um, and I'll clamp it in place. It goes about three quarters of an inch up from the bottom. I'll push this through the side and then what I do is I just do like a little weld. I push it through and clamp it in place. I do a little weld here that looks like a mimics kind of like a spot weld, um, kind of like the originals would have. So that's the cowl side done. Both sides are done like that. Everything is all welded. Next up is a little more challenging. It's the top of the cowl. Um, I, again, I'm working with seconds. So this was a cowl we got from Brookville. They must have tried to assemble it so there's some damage here. I'm going to have to fix that up. Um, also, this section here is a re reinforcing piece that goes inside there. So these flanges have to be measured and bent over to 90 degrees. So they'll sit here. And then there's these pieces here I'll go through that will fit there and then fit down over the top of the uh, uh, cowl sides. Oh, one other thing I had to do was drill, drill all the holes on the top here because the top of the cowl is bolted to the cowl sides. So I'm going to carry on with this. I will probably measure it up, um, maybe even get the camera lady to film me uh, folding the edges over onto it. Okay, so I went and measured the cowl bracing on R32. Um, it seemed to be a little longer than this one because on my first attempt, I bent the flanges too long and it wasn't good enough. So I'm going to do a second measurement from there. We're going to rebend the flanges and trial fit it here. So just uh, go over to the brake here. And we'll bend these two flanges at a 90 and trial fit it. Not a lot of real estate here. Um, so the first measurement I had was three eighths of an inch. Um, it's more like an inch. One good thing about metal, you can bend it. If you bend it one way, you can bend it back. So there's one side. I'm just going to do an inch on this side. Try it. So there's the two flanges bent in. We're just going to go try it in the sheet metal, the cowl. And see if I got it this time. side there I might have to tweak it up so we're gonna go with that um, I'm gonna carry on here uh, like I said there was a lot of damage to this piece here I've got to dolly it in and there's quite a big dimple there um, that's the way we got it but that's one of the uh, that's why we paid what we paid for it so I'm gonna dolly this down bring it down to the flange make sure everything is good then I'm gonna carry on working with these pieces these pieces can be quite, they can be quite miserable to fit in um, because they're basically a raw stamping. So they've got to be trimmed and then welded in place. But the intent of this, it goes in here, it meets up with the reinforcing piece. So it, it's just, 
like I say, a raw piece of uh, sheet metal that Brookville, when they assemble stuff, they trim it. They've got little jigs or whatever. Um, it'll take me a little while to do that, but I'll show you the finished product in a few minutes and um, show you where I trimmed it. Okay, so I carried on and I dollied up the uh, edge here, um, the, the side molding, and then I took each one of the cowl sides, I placed it over the um, top of the, the cow top. I drilled the holes uh, for to put the quarter inch bolts in, put them in place. As you can see on the bottom, there's actually a reinforcing piece. We may not have, well, insert a picture. It's up underneath here. It actually sandwiches the two pieces of sheet metal together and connects up with the reinforcement piece or underneath the, um, the, uh, the cowl. I've worked on one of these pieces so far. So like I said, this is what we start with. It's kind of like a, a, a rough stamping. And then I have to trim it and bend the edges. Right now I've got it positioned here. And it's ba this one is basically ready to, to weld in. And then this would dolly over. When the cowl gets installed onto the subframe, the cowl sides will actually come in like this a little bit. And then I'll drill a little hole here and I'll weld this in place. Um, the originals have a rivet that goes between these two points. So what I'll be doing with these is I'll, I just drill a hole through and, and weld it once everything is all in place on the car. So I'm going to carry on. I'm going to trim this piece. Here, I'll show you. Uh, there's, there's the difference between what I've got to do. I've got to trim the tops and then on the back you've got to bend the tabs in. So a little bit more dolly work on that but that piece is ready to weld in. I'll weld this, trim this, and then tidy it up. Like I said I'll do the other one and then the final fit I'll take this whole cowl section and I'll mount it on the subframe there and that'll be the end of the video. I have the cowl on the body or on the subframe now. Like I said, there was a few things I had to do. Uh, one of which was to weld this little piece into the A pillars here. So basically drilled a 3 16 hole, put the welder up high, did a nice penetrating weld on that. And then up inside here, there's these little pads, reinforcing pads for the uh, windshield stanchions that have to be welded in place so that when you drill through, you've got something to, to bite into. Um, there's a better picture of the, um, the plate that goes on top between the cowl sides and the cowl top. Uh, on the bottom here, as I told you before, um, the bottom part of the A-pillars aren't welded in yet, but they're installed now. So kind of have to use the fine adjustment tool. So it's this piece here, it slides into the A-pillar and it slides down on top of the subframe. Um, it's not welded because when I put the doors on, I may have to shift the A-pillar forward or back a little bit because the next step is to make the doors um, with the hinges and then get the doors perfectly square to the subframe. Um, two adjustments will be here on the A-pillar itself and then also the firewall feet um, around the front here. I'll show you mm, over here, I guess. Right down here. So the firewall feet are screwed into the frame now. I've got them adjusted up where I want them. Um, so the adjustment for the doors is going to be a combination of loosening or tightening these and then um, adjusting the A pillars forward or back. But that, that'll be the next episode of building the doors. The cowl band here, the reinforcing band, I put that on and I've got that tack welded and spot welded in place here. Um, got to do a couple little dress up things before I move on to the doors, like just weld those or grind those welds up a little bit and probably get the, uh, the wire wheel out and clean off some of this rust that um, was picked up when the, it was transported here. I got wet. So that's it for the 32 Ford cowl assembly, um, building sides and the top and I'm putting it on the, 
the subframe. So that's part two of building the Roadster. Part three coming up, like I just said, we're going to build the doors, um, put the hinges, um, drill and tap the hinges into the A-pillar, have those all adjusted. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please shoot me a message. I'll try my best to answer them. If you want a more close-up picture of any of the things we put together, send us a message. We'll try and get them to you on Instagram or Facebook or however you get in touch with us. Um, that's it for now. Again, hope you enjoyed it. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.